Congratulations on a great job by both of you. It was great to see a war movie that focuses on uh, family and human issues. First off, can you talk about how did you prepare for this this film? Yeah, most of that was on her side. I I uh, had a you know opportunity just over the years to uh, meet a military family, a cousin who um, did a tour in Iraq and okay. grandparents, etc. But mm -hmm. yeah, fortunately for for me, uh, Claudia Myers had had all this this knowledge of, of the military and a lot of vets um, because of the research and um, the documentaries that she had done on behalf of the military. Mm -hmm. uh, so I completely trusted her mm -hmm. um, in terms of what I needed to do to prepare for the role and that was of the utmost importance to us. Uh, and so we went down to Fort Bliss where we had the opportunity to shoot um, but prior to actually shooting we spent a lot of time with soldiers mm -hmm. uh, and female soldiers and they became invaluable in terms of my preparation in their stories and the challenges that they face um, you know over over the years a lot of the women that I've spoken to have served multiple deployments so mm -hmm. you know a lot of them have, uh, have have gone on their first deployment married and they've come back and been divorced um, they've had a child uh, and then they go back, and uh, and so with each deployment is, when upon return uh, home is a different challenge mm -hmm. for a lot of these people. So uh, that became very very helpful uh, for me, and just incredibly informative to to emotionally try to understand who uh, Maggie Swan is. Ron, your character shifts between uh, being a very understanding, a very good father, an ex-husband, and to a total jerk. Um, do you think, is he basically a good guy but struggling to do the right thing? I think he's a fairly representative guy who just maybe doesn't know why he should have to work this hard, you know? Right. Um, he maybe thinks Maggie ought to be a little bit more like Emmanuel's character, mm -hmm. Alma. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but I think to his credit, he ultimately um, and the most important thing for any parent is just that you want what's best for your child, yeah. you know? And I think he does have that, even if he doesn't necessarily know what it is or how to provide it. Um, he, he wants it. It seems like women uh, in the military have so much more to deal with. Um, you know, this film also touches on sexual harassment, sexual assault. Your character, Sergeant Swan, what she's going through, or what she went through, and, and then coming home, you have to deal with your family. It's To me, it's just so much tougher than men in the military, yes? It is hard, you know, um, that sense of duty, but that devotion to your, to your family, and I think that if you don't have that strong support system that allows you to go and do something that you ultimately uh, love, then, you know, a lot of women have had to make that tough choice to, to decide, you know, that's, that's not what's best for me or for my family and have decided to, um, to, to, be, to be a mom. Or, or a lot of them can decide to take a different job in the military, which allows them to be home, um, but not necessarily go to war. What do you, or well, today is marked exactly September 11th. Do you have any thoughts? It's been 13 years since we're talking about. Yeah, you know, I, I, my first thought is that uh, I got up this morning and uh, I didn't remember it was September 11th until you, you said that. So I think it's, um, I think we've definitely come uh, come a long way yeah. um, you know obviously I think a lot of the place the, the places where we are engaged uh, militarily uh, have, have grown out of that have mm -hmm. to do with that um, and as much as we I think are cognizant of a lot of the sacrifice that uh, you know our military personnel go to we've seen a lot of stories and there are a lot of stories in, in movies about people at war mm -hmm. Um, and there have been a few stories, I think, about people coming home from war, like coming home, of course, and mm -hmm. born on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. um, but they're all, they all seem to sort of be about, like, oh, you know, people kind of wrestling internally or wrestling with, like, what they've lost in their body or, or something. The thing that's really novel about this one is she comes back to a duty that's kind of as sacred as the one that she's leaving behind. Yeah. 
Um, Absolutely. And you really see the the fight on the home front, um, you know, mm -hmm. go goes hand in hand yeah. uh, with the fight where mm -hmm. she's been. Thank you so much. Sure. Great movie. Thank you.